When I built this AOS 3.5, I planned to use the awesome new Cadex Vista Nano V2 FPV camera. But like a lot of components at the moment, there's a massive drought and they're like hen's teeth. You just can't get hold of them. So I thought I'd settle for second best and got this Cadex Polar Vista, which has had a lot of very lukewarm reviews. But I was blown away by how fantastic this is for night flying. It took me completely by surprise. Hello and welcome to the World of Black channel. This is YouTube, you know what to do. Subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this. I was genuinely surprised at how good this is. At least as good as the original DJI Air Unit camera during daylight. And it's 16 by nine, which just suits me better. Although this is a starlight camera with supposed great low light performance, I've never been impressed with other cameras that make the same claim. But I was blown away with this. Here's a clip straight off the DJI goggles. It looks a bit grainy, but when you see this in the goggles, it's fantastic. And I mean really fantastic. Remember, this is only 720p, so don't expect GoPro 4K like footage. Apart from the street lights, it was pitch dark out here, but it was totally clear sky. And flying around at night is just so relaxing, and usually it's much calmer conditions. But do make sure you've got a good buzzer, because finding this in the dark in long grass, well, it's impossible. I use the Vifly Find the Mini on this. It's got its own battery, buzzer, and a super bright flashing LED. And don't forget, It'll generally be colder, so your battery's flight time will be shorter. And keep a close eye on the voltages. It was pretty chilly out here, and I was only getting three to three and a half minutes flight time rather than my usual four minutes plus. And this got me wondering, could I post-process this 720p footage and get something a bit more GoPro-like? Well, it's a bit weird standing out here at 10 o'clock at night. It's pretty dark and chilly. There's no wind and very clear skies, and it's a bit spooky. 